uh, Mintir, rather, who is in uh, Islamabad, Pakistan, who's going to join us uh, mm -hmm. on this program as we move into the final half hour. Garrick, what's the latest? Well, uh, Jack, our focus this evening, number, story number one, is the ongoing investigation. Here are some of the newest developments uh, this evening. Uh, the investigation of Tuesday's terrorist attacks. The U.S. Justice Department tells CNN that a second material witness has been brought into custody. The man was one of 25 people who were being questioned by the FBI while being held by U.S. Immigration Services. A first material witness, that's someone who's supposed to know something or someone connected with the, the crime itself, was arrested on Thursday. <clears throat> the U.S. Justice Department has also released photographs now of eight of the suspected hijackers. The pictures include four from American Airlines Flight Number 11. That was the first plane to hit the World Trade uh, Center on uh, Tuesday. There is one hijacker from United Airlines Flight 175, which hit the World Trade Center's uh, South Tower. And then there are three from United Airlines Flight 93, which went down um, in rural Pennsylvania. New York City rescue crews continue to hunt for survivors in the rubble there at the Trade Center, even as hope uh, is dimming. As we know, nearly 5,000 people are listed as missing somewhere in that rubble uh, at that site. Also Saturday at a news conference, it was revealed that investigators, uh, searchers, have found something of interest, the passport of one of the suspected hijackers. That passport somehow survived floating down from above. It was found some distance from the World Trade Center crash site itself. And at the Camp David presidential retreat, U.S. President George W. Bush met with his advisors and told Americans to brace for what may come. He said U.S. military personnel should be ready uh, for a war. He said, quote, we are at war. And sources are telling us now that two of the hijackers of the plane that crashed into the Pentagon had been under surveillance by U.S. law enforcement and intelligence circles. The reason? A link to the bombing of the USS Cole in Yemen last year. Here's Elaine O'Connor. They booked the tickets on American Airlines Flight 77 from Washington to Los Angeles on Travelocity using a New Jersey address, a mailboxes, etc. And names U.S. officials confirm were known to them. Khalid al Madhat and Salim al Hamzi, once on board together with al Hamzi's brother and an old roommate, a known pilot, they took over the flight, crashing it into the Pentagon. Within minutes, the facade of a symbol of American strength crumbled. As the search and rescue efforts continue, sources say the FBI was informed that Khalid al-Midhar and Salim al-Hamzi were associated with Osama bin Laden and the bombing of the USS Cole. One source confirms they had concrete evidence al-Midhar had met with a man who was later involved in the attack on the Cole. Uh, one, was, one was kind of short and the other two was tall. tall. Al Minhar was a frequent visitor of Al Hamzi and his brother Nawak in the San Diego apartment complex. It was always together. If they left, it was together. They come back, they together. They hung out a lot at the pool, despite telling their neighbors they were studying at a nearby college. You see three of them in the pool swimming, or you see the dude always looking out the window, another one outside the door on the phone. At one point, they left, telling one landlord they were in Arizona living in different cities at different addresses. As it turns out, rooming with another hijacker aboard that plane, Hani Hanjour. Hani attended this flying school, CRM, Cockpit Resource Management, but left without a certification. He's kind of a waste of time. He wouldn't show up for uh, flights on time, didn't do his homework. Not a promising student, but skilled enough to carry out the mission. Eileen O'Connor, CNN, Washington.